Hi everybody, it's our Vet Michelle and I am here to share with you my next big project on this week on the commission. And so one of the things that I do in order to be able to understand how everything works for a large commercial space is I do a lot of planning with um, CAD and rendering tools to ensure that the proposed art is going to work in each of the spaces. And one of the key things that I do is, is to make sure that I'm putting it in the space um, with the furnishings and then putting the lighting appropriately that would be near it or actually, or on it if it's required for it to be spotlighted. So I'm sharing with you um, this large space that I'm working on. There's two equal spaces in terms of size or square footage that are gonna need some very, very large art. And then there's a lobby scenario of, with a long hallway that's connected with it. And I'm just sharing with you the top view of this space so that you can see the sizing of it. And it's approximately, I think about 30 different pieces of art that need to happen between these three portions of the project. There are other parts that are coming up, so I hope you enjoy what I'm sharing with you today in terms of what it is that I'm looking for. So the first thing that I do is ensure that um, all of the art is on the wall and it matches the placement of the furniture that um, has been laid out uh, from the designer or also as me as a designer. And then I determine how high up this piece is gonna be on the wall and whether or not it's gonna be significant enough for that wall or if it's too significant for the space. And that way, we're able to determine the sizing appropriately before anything actually gets made. The next thing that I'm looking at very intensely, it's very, very, very important, especially in a commercial space, but also at homes too. It depends on how it is that you're using the room that we're actually looking at how to light the art. Lighting is so very important when you're doing hospitality in terms of being able to make the person feel a certain way when they're utilizing that space. And so I'm just showing you a quick little overview of the top view of this thing, of the space that I'm in, in terms of how, how big the space is and how much work there is to do. And then also giving you a sneak peek into some very um, lightweight renderings with some reference art in there. It's not the actual art. So when it's all done, I'll be able to share with you the actual art that happened in there. But in order to match up with the requirements that I shared last Saturday in terms of the fabric selections and the colors that were picked for that space, I'm now sharing with you what the reference art could look like on just a plain view and then also how I work from the top and my focus on lighting. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you soon.